So this is an, a phone amplifier made out of Douglas fir. It's got 76 likes on Instagram right now. It's one of the many products and things that you can get from Treevival, um, a local company uh, created by uh, Walden Neufeld. Walden, how has the advent of things like Instagram and social media helped your brand and helped promote your brand? Oh, it's been, uh, it's been phenomenal to see because uh, um, when I grew up doing a lot of work like this, there was no social media. And so it was word of mouth or whatever, right? And now people will come to a show like Third and Bird and they'll say, uh, oh, do you mind if I just take a picture of this? I want to send it to a friend. This is what I'd like for Christmas. Or I really like this. A couple of people need to know about this. And before long, you're, you're, you're just watching people following you and it's just ramping up like crazy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's cool. And how did you initially, the branding for um, Trevival, it's, it's primarily on Instagram. Do you, do you have kids or grandkids who helped get you set up on Instagram? How did that happen? Oh, big time. Yeah, I need to give uh, serious cred to, uh, to my son, Brian, because uh, he's also uh, a Red River grad uh, in graphic design. And so he's helped me develop my brand, my logo, and uh, has given me very strict rules about what I do and what I don't do on Instagram. Like, <laughs> don't do this, Dad, or don't do that. But um, so, uh, so that's been a big part of it and uh, has certainly been uh, a, a huge help because I wouldn't have known how to get started on my own. Mm -hmm. And how has the advent of things like Instagram and web-based sales changed over the years from maybe like the, you know, if you started doing crafting or things like that in the 60s and 70s? Well, back then you'd, you'd have something in a store, right? And you'd hope that it would sell. There wouldn't be a lot of communication at the end of the month. You'd hope to see some kind of a check. Um, but you really wouldn't get a sense of what could happen outside of that store. I have some of my things in stores now, but I get lots of direct message from people who say, you know, I'm, where can I come and pick some of this stuff up? So there's constantly people coming to the house to pick things up or I can tell them when the next show is on and, uh, and then there's, oh great, I'll make, you know, I'll make sure I get to that, mm -hmm. which wouldn't have happened before. And where do you get most of the, the wood and the things that you use to make the products, these awesome products? Uh, I'm kind of uh, an arborist chaser. So when I hear a wood chipper going somewhere, they're cutting down a tree, it's because it's diseased or it's dead or somebody doesn't want it anymore. And to me, it's always a shame that stuff like that goes into the, into the wood chipper or into the dump. And I, you know, hence the name Trevival, because I love to see that something comes to life after the fact. And just because a tree died doesn't mean you can't enjoy it for a long, long time. And a lot of the stuff I do uh, is, I mean, Winnipeg's a place where trees grow slowly because of the climate. And so a lot of it is just uh, really incredible wood that I keep being fascinated with. And hopefully there's enough other people out there that are as well. That will that will buy it, and and to a certain extent, that dictates what I make, because I can only make from what's available. Right. Because I don't go buy things sort of in you know that's in stock somewhere. <laughs> well, well, then thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Oh, for sure, it's been great. Yeah. Yeah.